Hey you guys, I hope you can hear me. The connection is weak. I'm sitting out at the pond in the truck with my niece because she's asleep. So I wanted to do a little Q&A with you guys and if you have any questions that's coming up for you, let's get them answered. We have this awesome promo, the blowout promo, which ends tonight at midnight Eastern time. So I want to make sure you take advantage of that. I also want to make sure that you are living your life by design and super fired up for what's ahead this year. And it is just such a great time. Any time is a great time to make a decision to change your life. So can you guys hear me okay? Because we do have that um, music playing. And I'll show you my niece. She's so cute. I'm sitting with her. Everyone else is out at the pond. Sleeping baby. With her cute little toesies. <laughs> okay hey awesome I'm super glad that you guys joined in today and yeah we're just sitting here at the pond the kids are out on the boats my dad my sister Jason his parents from Australia they're all out sitting on chairs right outside of the car and I'm just sitting in here with Vivi because she's sleeping hey Tatiana how are you so good to see you girl Tatiana is joining us from South Africa <laughs> um, so I want to dive right in to a little bit of mindset training how does that sound hey Missy and I want to invite you to um, let's see Oh, if you have anyone that you think would benefit from some mindset training, go ahead and click that little uh, person icon at the bottom. You can actually invite people to watch this and they can see the replay later too. I'm going to see if I can change the music because it's commercials. Ooh, that's better. Okay. You can hear well? Okay. All right. Now. What I'm going to encourage you all to do, because we're going into the second half of 2016, is I want you to just wake up and realize that if you haven't been showing up for yourself every day, it is time to do that and take a stand for the greatness that's within you. Make sure that you are committed to progress. Any form of progress is progress. And sometimes people get so caught up in perfectionism, being... Um, procrastinators uh, for all kinds of different reasons maybe you're scared maybe you're afraid of what's coming because it's the unknown maybe you're afraid of you'll look silly I don't know what is it for you if something is holding you back though it's time to identify it so that you can get into action you can have what you want but you've got to decide what that is and if you've got any issues that are holding you back it's time to decide what is it and get into action and changing it. So here's one thing, a lack of movement towards what your goal is can often be a result of a lack of connection to what you truly desire. So if you're unclear about what you're doing in your business because you're not sure of what you want to do with your business because you're, you're afraid of looking silly, well it's time to put yourself out there because I'm going to tell you something for sure. In my videos you'll notice it's the real me. I show up without makeup sometimes. I'm a mess. I'm like covered. I haven't had a shower. I um, have my allergies. My eyes are puffy. Whatever. I don't care. I show up for you every single day because I know that my words add value to you because of the messages I receive and the life changing results that I have so many people experience because I show up for them and support them towards their goals. Why do I do that? Because I'm passionate about helping people live their best life. And I'm going to encourage you guys to really think about, are you committed to what you desire? And if you're not sure on what that is, I'm going to ask you to just check in with yourself, spend some quiet time, figure out what it is that you want in your life, and then really get committed to that, okay? Take a stand for the greatness that is within you. And I know that you saw in my previous video today, I did read a passage from one of my mentors, Les Brown, and he talks about how we have to protect the greatness within ourselves so that we're not affected by others opinions because others opinions are not the truth about you are they um, so it's just a perfect time I think mid-year to reflect on what is it that you really desire 
are you comparing yourself to others success and the truth is if you are you're holding yourself back from your true greatness you're not living in your purpose you're not letting your personality shine well then that's gonna hold you back you're gonna just continue to live this mediocre life and maybe you've been successful but it's not as much success as you could really truly achieve if you weren't in comparison it's not about comparing to what others have done when they've succeeded it's about you and what are you doing to succeed and what what is it that lights you up we are all uniquely called to show up in a different way in this world and that is the beauty of being human is we get to support each other with our stories our trials our testimonies right you turn your test into a testimony and nothing's gonna stop you when you're so passionate about what you want and you are not available to the drama, you're not available to just scraping by and you're only available to success and showing up for yourself and protecting your greatness, guess what? The sky is the limit. You can do whatever you set your mind to. People ask me all the time, well, how do you make these videos? Guess what? I just make them. I just go live. And does it matter if I show up and I stumble on my words or I forget what I'm saying and I go off on a tangent? No, it doesn't really matter at all. Because I show up and somebody gets that message that they are meant for greatness. Yes, you, you watching right now. I have, I know right now watching, people watching this have such unique gifts that they need to bring to the table but they're holding themselves back because they've seen other people succeed and they think, well, I'm not like her or I'm not like him or he was born with this opportunity or she has this college degree or whatever, whatever you guys are telling yourselves, it's not true. It is not true. So you've got to train your brain to not go there. That is a mediocre employee mindset. That's the water cooler gossiping mindset. No more. Instead, it's you saying, I am successful. I am grateful. I am ready for this. I am ready to take a risk and look like a fool. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So let's see what uh, questions might you have. You can ask me any Q&A or any questions. I'll give you the answer so we can do our Q&A. And then we'll just see. Um, I'll show you the beautiful view. How about that? Okay. Let's see. All right, just waiting to see what people might have questions on. I know that we've got a delay in this video, so I'm just waiting to see these questions pop up. I'm sure you're typing them right now. Um, <laughs> Hi there. Up. You found your water? Yeah. Good. You I'm um, just doing a little work. <laughs> yep. Okay. So the question is, how would you handle the, a divided team? Well, I would get everyone on track and say, is she waking up? Let's see. Okay, I would get everyone on track and I would, I would just say, listen, we all have a goal of success. We have a goal of freedom for our family. We are not available to gossip. We're not available for drama and negativity. And I heard that you said X, Y, Z about so-and-so. Let's go to so-and-so and let's get it out on the table. And let's not allow drama to influence us anymore because guess what? That takes away from our goals. That takes away from our families. We are adults. We do not have time for drama, okay? No negativity. Guess what? Nobody comes to me with drama and negativity anymore because I'm very good about putting those boundaries up. I'm not available to that. I'm available to help you build your business, but I do not want to listen to you complain about somebody, okay? And um, the leaders in my team that have put out that messaging to their family, to their, or sorry, to their family and to their teams, guess what? It doesn't happen for them anymore. They're not available to it. People are inherently lazy. They want to take the easy road. They think that being gossipy connects them to other people. It doesn't. It doesn't lift them up. It destroys, okay? People doubt themselves when there's a lot of negativity. Am I right? But when you, as the leader, 
say we're not available to the drama we're not available to negativity here we have a big goal to change lives and that's what we're available to so if you want to build your business I'm here for you but if you want to gossip or talk about somebody else no I'm not <laughs> okay so um, oh, she broke crap you want to see her cute little face you can hear me okay um, Natasha asked me about making videos let me see no making videos was not always easy for me I used to get clammy hands and my stomach hurt and my mouth was dry just like when I was first doing live calls or, or speaking in front of a group now I have spoke to a room of 25,000 people I have trained on national calls with tons and thousands and thousands of people listening many 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 times more than I can count and I have made so many videos I know that I get on and ramble I know that sometimes I look like a dork I don't really care because my purpose is so big it doesn't matter how I perceive myself does that make sense so when you're ready to make a new change and you're ready to put yourself out there you've got to decide that your goal is bigger than the discomfort it's gonna to take to achieve that goal so if sharing your message is something that lights you up just start doing it to start doing it people will show up people want your story your story will impact them okay what else video topics for your first story let's turn this down okay you never look like a dork I love it oh she's so cute okay so video topics where do you start well I would start talking about what you're passionate about Tiffany why not I mean you have to figure out what you're passionate about and that's your message and I like to tell people that it's a good idea to do a brain dump just put a bunch of stuff down on paper that you want to talk about I don't have that journal with me but this is my journal I often talk from my journal when I do my messaging because I'm passionate about personal development and mindset and so when I make videos I will often use my journal as a reference or an outline for the video so I'm not really coming up with a lot of stuff on the spot because it's right here on paper and I just put it into m reflection so a really good um, let's see um, idea <laughs> a good idea for you guys is when you learn something new whether it's a book or an audiobook or a podcast or a blog you read or a video you watch maybe one of the videos I watch inspires you you are always taking notes and as you're taking notes you're writing it down and then you go live and you teach it you put it on video you put it on a conference call you're always going to have something to share with others because you're one step ahead of them because you're really dedicated to personal development right if you're dedicated to that you can teach that there's so many times that I will learn something and within half an hour be on here teaching you guys I don't know if you know that <laughs> but it works and people show up they need that they need somebody who they relate to that they feel is real that they can um, listen to and understand and feel inspired by right okay what other questions do we have here Oh, a best way to start a conversation with somebody that you're meeting I'm guessing out and about Sharon um, so what I do is I build rapport the one book I recommend that you hear our founder always talk about is how to win friends and influence people so you go out you build rapport with people you smile at them you look them in the eyes you have a connection and that will naturally lead to talking about the thrive experience but ask them questions first I use an acronym called form so questions about family, occupation, recreation, or hobbies, and then you deliver your message. At that point, you'll have built rapport. I usually can build rapport with people in one minute. And then I'm able to say, I'll have my DFT on, which I just realized I forgot to put it on today. Oops. <laughs> um, and I usually have my purse with me that has extras, but I left that in our Airstream. Um, so I usually say to them, you know, have you not heard have you heard of the thrive experience yet or I'll point to my DFT as I'm talking to them and be like have you heard about this around here yet it's changing my life my friends we love it we have so much energy and we're just feeling amazing I would love to give you more information and see if it's something you'd be interested in 
Awesome. Okay. Do you have Facebook on your phone? Cool. And then I'll pull up the Facebook Lavelle fan page and I'll click like on that page and I'll say you got to read these stories. I'm going to add myself as a friend so that you and I can be connected and we can have um, a conversation about what Thrive could do for you. And then I will give them my contact card. So I saved myself as a contact. It has my phone number, my email address, my website, my blog, my link to my Facebook, link to the fan page, and the recorded call. All that information is on my contact card. You'll see it on my Facebook profile if you go there because I posted it yesterday. And that contact card is something that gives me the opportunity to get their phone number and then send them all that information in a quick text. Now we're connected. Does that make sense? And then I usually have them send me their email address right there on the spot. I set them up with their customer account and then I reply back again with that contact card and that login information. Super easy. Okay, who else has a question? And I know we have a delay. I'm looking at the baby. So cute. Okay, anyone? Ooh, I think she woke up. Okay, Anne-Marie, it's not an app. It's just a contact. You add yourself as a contact, that's all. Create yourself a contact in your phone. That's it. She is so cute, you guys. Oh my gosh. Super fun. Okay. Ooh, I love this one. I, I, I swear she's going to wake up any minute. <laughs> okay. What else, you guys? What do you want to talk about? Ask me a question. Okay. I'm going to ask you to consider this. That what you see in others is actually a trait that you have in yourself. But you've disassociated it and you don't see it in yourself anymore, but you see it in them. So I want you to really check in and ask yourself what traits you admire in others because you have that trait in you and it's good for you to cultivate that trait. Incentives for your team, um, put incentives out every week, every week, free accounts. That's what I would say. And just keep rolling that incentive into the next week if no one earns it. One person earns it, great, run with it. My sister's coming. She's kind of waking up but still sleeping. There's brother. I'm waiting for, I'm with Vivi. She's a sheepy. I don't know if her hat fell down on her face or if she's leaning forward. Hang on. Yeah, she just leaned forward. Okay. Is there another kid over there? Um, I do both. Depends. If I need more people in my funnel, then I'll I'll give free. I'll do a sample blitz on Facebook and I'll give away five. First five to comment. I'll give them away. My favorite mindset leaders, I love Tony Robbins, um, Marie Forleo, Grant Cardone, he's pretty hardcore, but I like a lot of his messaging. He's just like, don't be lazy, go for it, right? I mean, I guess that's kind of how I am, but I'm a little softer. <laughs> um, those are three. You have to take on how many days of free samples? So I usually have one one day sample packs with me when I'm out and about and I'll sample somebody sometimes sometimes um, and then that's to show them how simple the three steps are but if they want to order I might offer them a three to five day sample I'll say just meet me down at the grocery store today uh, we'll get your order in and then I'll give you a starter pack that's my that's what really works well for me trouble with Facebook you guys leave your house get out there meet people join something 
take a tennis lesson, join a horseback riding group, do something, get out of your house. Whenever I leave my house, I can't believe how many accounts I sign up. I sign up my hairstylist. If I get a massage, I sign them up. My nails done, I sign them up. I like to go to new salons because then I get to enroll new people there. Okay, a friend who's always negative, complains about everything. You know what, Molly, I just am not available to negativity. So, I mean, I would just be like, sorry. <laughs> I would do I would you know we just have such a short life to live and let's surround ourselves with positive uplifting inspiring people right yeah I do one day sample you can do three day samples why don't you try a few different things for 30 days and see what works best for you anyone that's in business for themselves needs to kind of do some market research and see what works best for them sometimes it depends on how good you are at using your information funnel putting them on three-way call closing the sale right you've got to figure it out for you you're gonna be have a different skill set. Um, there's guidelines that we use as promoters, but I don't feel like they always apply to everybody all the time. So you need to figure out what works best for you. And if you're just joining us, we're sitting here in the car next to my niece, she's asleep, so I'm just hanging out with her, talking to you. She keeps trying to wake up, but she hasn't yet. Okay, what else, you all? Yep, not available for that. No more. <laughs> Oh, is she waking up? She's moving her hat. Yes, she is. Hi, baby. What's she doing? You playing with your hat? You're like, what is this on my head? Who thinks Vivi is cute? Isn't she the cutest? You want to get out and go swimming? Alright, you guys. We are going to end the broadcast. Thanks for hopping on. It kept me busy while I was chatting with you, waiting for her to wake up. And hopefully this has been helpful. If you have any other questions, type them in the comments. I do interact with the comments later. And don't forget to click that little person there before I end the broadcast. Invite some of your friends. You can tag them. You can sh click share. I have a fan page. We do a Monday morning ignition call every week, which we will be doing tomorrow morning. We didn't do it today because we were... Um, it's 4th of July. So thanks for watching. You all stuck with me for a long time. I hope this is helpful. Whenever you watch something or learn something or hear something, decide you're going to apply at least one nugget to your life and you will always develop yourself into a better person. Nobody can take personal development away from you ever. So get committed to that. All right. I do have a separate journal from my planner. Yes. <laughs> okay. Talk